Hey guys, what's up? It's Chachi and today you are going to watch part two of my newborn slash infant essentials video. As you guys heard in yesterday's post, the video was just way too long so I cut it down to two separate videos. Anyways, uh, now continuing, enjoy part two. <laughs> so now on to clothes. I went crazy when Sophia was first born not realizing how fast she would grow. Here are my recommendations for like starting off and then you can kind of base it off that when you figure out how many poop explosions your baby will have, how fast they're growing and other things. So two to four bodies. Now the bodies are like the, these are bodies. This is what I'm talking about. Just the things that snap two to four for when they're first born, but also get them in different sizes because I am like, I am not kidding or exaggerating when I say babies grow so fast. Sophia fit in her newborn onesies for like a week and a half, two maybe. There are some brands that I have found here, um, like this brand, short name is called Pop, and the real name is Polarin Au Purette. Um, so Sophia wears this a lot, super reliable, child clothing brand and they've really got it figured out because they have these bodies that grow with the baby like when you clip it on the bottom there's an extension for when she gets a little bit bigger so um this really gives you some breathing room or the baby some breathing room in your time not to just stock up on bodies what they do with the sleeves so she wears like this but when her arms get a little bit longer this is so dirty <laughs> um you can use this and really squeeze all the juice out of this little body pop has been great for growing with sophia so yes having two to four bodies or getting like a pack of three but having them in different sizes same with pants you don't need a ton but just have a few on hand a lot of people buy mittens for when the baby's like scratching and yada yada but i also just use socks so you can get about seven pairs of socks maybe 10 because they're so small they constantly get lost or if you have dogs they are going to eat them the amount of times that i put socks in sophia's hands like it's all the time so cute outfits are optional but right now nobody is going anywhere and it's a baby so i definitely have my fair share of cute outfits trust me i've you know splurged on that but it's not necessary and it's totally up to you. You don't need it. Also, if you live in a place like Finland or somewhere else cold, the babies are going to need outerwear. So you will have to buy like the, the wind suits and all the gear for that. So on to nursery needs. Sophia doesn't have her own room right now. Um, we have been traveling back and forth, but also she's four months old and she doesn't need her own like room yet yeah we do have the crib and um we have the crib that's it but she doesn't even sleep in the crib yet we use a lot of blankets whether it's for like laying her down somewhere or wrapping her up or for her stroller um we use a lot of blankets i recommend having lightweight blankets like some thinner ones and also some more like heavy duty blankets that'll keep her keep your baby really warm so maybe like two, three of each. A crib or a bassinet, um, like I said, she doesn't she doesn't sleep in her own room, so she sleeps with us. We haven't really needed to use a crib. I think I've placed her in the crib for photos, that's about it. This is something that we didn't use, but I know a lot of people like to have for themselves, is a baby monitor. I know a lot of people have like the video cam ones where they can like watch their baby while they're sleeping and things like that, but we don't use a baby monitor at all. We if we leave her in the room to sleep or something like that we can hear and she's in a like close to us so we haven't stressed too much about that we haven't had any problems with that at all but also i feel like for me someone who naturally just has like a lot of anxiety especially when it comes to baby stuff i think if i had the like the camera ones i would just constantly be checking it and watching her and seeing is she breathing so not having a baby monitor has also given me a lot of confidence in myself as a mother and also kind of ease my anxiety about caring for a baby don't worry too much about that stuff like the natural mother instinct will kick in and you'll figure it out we do have we do have a baby monitor now <laughs> from bye bye baby but um i will link the one that we have it's just the regular um what you call it 
just the regular ones that set up in the room. Now on to baby gear. This is a fun one. This is uh, this is the pricey part. Let's talk strollers. The stroller that we use is the Stucke Trails stroller. It is good for, we do a lot of nature walks here in Finland and it's good on rocks and all kinds of ground. And uh, in LA it was great with all the broken cement and things. It gives Sophia a really smooth ride with some rocking motion so she falls asleep in her stroller like instantly, she loves it. We have the bassinet that, or the cot that attaches to it um, that she is in right now up until I think she's about six months and then she'll change into the other, the sit up attachment. <laughs> but also what I really love is that the stock car seat also attaches into it so we can just take her out of the car and Put her right onto the stroller so it is super super convenient and you don't need any adapters with it so this stroller has just been so amazing for us the stroller itself runs at about a thousand dollars so it is a little pricey but so 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 worth it i know stocket has a couple of stroller items so you can check those out see what works for you some other strollers that i did find online and that i've heard from other moms that have been good. The one that I see a lot is the Upper Baby Vista, and that runs about 900 on Amazon. So it is still a little pricey, but also a really good stroller. Lower price range, there is the, I don't know how to say this brand. Is it Graco? 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 I don't know, I might be butchering it, but I know you've seen this brand, it is everywhere. It's the Graco Modes Click Connect, and it runs for about 200 on Amazon and 150 at Walmart. Um, sorry if I did a really crappy job at explaining them. I just use this stock it. I think it's so worth the price. That is really, really it. I'm gonna go now into some extra items, things that have kept Sophia entertained or that have been really convenient for the parents. Play mats. So when she was first born, we had her on like a beige soft elephant play mat that our dogs eventually took over. She didn't re really use it a ton then, but uh, now that she is a little bit older and more interactive and likes to grab and reach things. I actually recently just got her this Baby Einstein play mat and this runs for about $50 on a Bye Bye Baby or Amazon. She loves this. We just recently got this and there's so many colors and came with all these little attachments. She loves looking at herself in the mirror. Um, she loves playing with all of these and putting them in her mouth and then for tummy time she has all of these fun patterns and her new thing is scratching so she likes to scratch on this. Um, it also came with oh, this little attachment, but it also came with BRB. Uh, this little piano thing and uh... so one uno ah. So it says it in English, Spanish, and I believe French. It has the options for uh, numbers, colors, and animals. It also plays music, and so it's just a fun little interactive thing. I just put the batteries in this now, so she has not played with this. If you can invest in one, definitely recommend getting one of these because it's nice too if I have to like finish up an email or need to do something, I just put her in the playmat and she is like, occupied for a good amount of time. She loves being in there. Next, this high chair that my camera is actually resting on right now. I'll put it in an insert clip of this, but this is a Stucke high chair. And this chair is super, super, super cool. This chair runs for 200, but it is a chair that grows with you. I even sit on this chair. All you have to do is just buy the attachments that go with it. This is the newborn attachment. Uh, this attachment is a hundred, but guys, the amount of times that I place her in this is unreal and so worth it. Um, so it's really easy. You just, and hook it on, and I'll show you guys what it looks like on in this separate clip. And it's nice because she's at kind of your level, so you don't have to bend down too much. And if you're cooking, she's a good distance away and you're watching and she can just kind of be in the mix. And then when she hits six months, we can put her in the sit one that runs for $50. And then once they're out of, you know, the baby attachments, adults sit in this chair. So they have a picture on their site of, of what it looks like grown up with you. So I will put that picture here. Really, really cool chair. This is actually in a lot of European homes. All right, so another really cool item that I had bought, um, a couple months ago, but I left in LA at our friend's house and I'm so, so mad. Um, it's called the Snooze Cloud. Um, I paid um, about 30 euros for this cloud, but I used it 
constantly. So it's this like little cloud that you can hook onto the side of a crib, um, a stroller, anywhere, and it plays uh, different sounds. I believe that there is a white noise sound, there's a lullaby, uh, and a heartbeat, and I think there's one more, but I can't think of it right now. White noise is like kind of that shh sound. So it imitates the sound that babies hear in the womb, so it just makes them really calm and makes them feel safe. Then, uh, before I was using that, if you don't want to buy the cloud, I also use this app called, it's called White Noise. It's this little uh, moon shaped one. And on here, they have all of these sounds. So they have um, the womb sound that she uses all the time. The list goes on and on. They have white noise, lullabies, um, fans, airplane, hair dryer. So um, now that I don't have the snooze cloud anymore, I use the app. So those are good options to have. Look who's up from their nap. Like such a good baby. Next, teethers. You don't need these right away, obviously, but um, now she likes to put everything in her mouth. So these have been really great. I have this really cute. Looks like an Oreo. <laughs> um, this is from a brand in Finland. I don't remember the name of it, but I'll put it here. And um, they just clip on and she likes biting these. These are like little silicone beads and a silicone um, Oreo thing. Um, she also has a wooden teether. And uh, yeah, that's it, y'all. That it's You don't have to go overboard. Really, at the end of the day, all a baby needs is love, a full tummy, and a clean diaper, so. Yay! Hopefully this video helped you guys a little bit. Check out the links in the description. Maybe give you guys um, a little bit of a break and a little bit of a breather. So I'll take a group deep breath. <sighs> Everything's gonna be great. You're gonna be fine. This is just what I have used for her and all I've really needed. It seems like a lot of stuff, but it's really not when you think about how overboard people can tell you that you need to go. So yeah. Uh, from this list, you can build on for what you need, but hopefully this is a good starter for you. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Give me a big old thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And also hit the notification button if you haven't already. Lots more vlogs coming. Um, hope you guys are doing well. And yeah, love you guys so much. And until next time, bye. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Great timing. Bye.